Hello, hello everyone, Stone Grunt here, and welcome to Cross Out. Now, this is a game published by Gaijin. Gaijin? Gaijin? Something like that. Um, and the same people who published War Thunder. And it is made by Tarjim Games. Um, and basically, it's a craft your own ride. As you can see here, I've got a truck with some mad looking turrets on top. And I don't know, you know. <laughs> Basically, a makeshift warthog, really, at this point. Um, no, but uh, yeah, it's got some wheels. Wheels, wheels are good. They drive, they help the car move. And um, it's probably got an engine under there. It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, no, so anyway, I've just booted up the game. As you can see, level one, all that. And it's giving me a tutorial once we jump into a battle. Um, I played a bit of this a while ago, like back in the day. Um, accounts have been reset since then. And uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. And I thought, you know what? I saw it in my games list. I thought, I just, I want to play it. And do you know what? While I'm playing it, may as well make a video on it. Because <laughs> why not? So, yeah, it's battle, select mission. Let's do it. Patrol against AI. Yep, yeah, it's going to be against AI. I know. Um, but, yeah, let's just kind of jump in here. Now, this game, you know, is one of those ones that, again, I just kind of want to highlight because it's a bit of fun, really. I think it's one of those games where if you really dive into it, like if you put all of your time and effort, all of your video game time, into it you will definitely notice faults and problems if you know what i mean like, you know i feel like there's a lot of things that i see people complaining about on the forums which make a lot of sense um like you know some of the kind of more pay to winny elements uh you know some builds being just better than others but in this kind of low level play which is a lot of what my experience has been on the game it's just it's just a bit of fun really like look you can say I mean, these are all bots but you know even if this was a game online you'd all just kind of be driving around in your little cars you know uh, having to take uh, and then you, you see the enemy you're just gonna kind of shoot them you know with, with your car it's fun it's good fun it kind of reminds me of um i don't know if any of you guys would have ever played this kind of reminds me of robot wars from back in the day uh, you know kind of craft your own thing craft your own like machine and take it out into the ring and fight oh my god robot wars by the way greatest game ever yeah so if you target certain points like i'm kind of trying to trying to target there we go his turret you can kind of take off certain components i destroyed him you can kind of take off components of course they can do that to you which is terrifying um and i am being shot the crap out of right now I need to be very careful so down at the bottom, you can see kind of my health bar overall. Look, this guy's like, he lost his front rails. He's still got a turret, though. He is destroyed. Right. Um, but yeah, you can kind of take parts off and kind of aim at certain parts. Just like you could in Robot Wars back in the day. Again, fantastic game. If I could get my hands on that once again, I would definitely play that for the channel. Because, oh my gosh, did I love that game. Um, but yeah, no, that was just one of those games back in the day. Hey, there we go. Victory against those bots. Thank God. For my, uh, well, my own vanity, really. Um, you get rewards when you come out. You're working towards daily missions. It's a free-to-play game as well. Should make that very clear. It's a free-to-play game. So it's not like you have to pay for it or anything. Um, yeah, free-to-play. Just jump in. Try it yourself, really. It's one of those types of games. It kind of has this faction system. Now, uh, as you level up, you can kind of join different factions and more options become available to you. In the beginning, you're with the engineers. They're kind of like your more base faction. A bit of an all-rounder faction. Uh, do you want to produce this item? Yes. So basically, I just built this, and now it's saying, yeah, do you want to finish it, like, right now for money? As you can see, and there's the little coins up there. Obviously, I don't care because the tutorial is just going to give me it. But again, if you want to fast build things, you can do that. And this is kind of how you craft parts for your vehicle, and then you would add those parts onto your vehicle, build it up, blah, 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 how you feel, you know? And again, look, I can trade this, and, you know, people, for example, right now are buying this for 78 I mean, I guess... I mean, I'm, I'm in Britain, so pennies, I would say, but 78 cents, you know, or 78 credits, <laughs> like 0.78 credits, whatever this game's currency is. Um, but yeah, so you could trade it for that. You could get some of your own little currency. Again, it's a way to build up the, the kind of paid for currency without actually paying for it. But if you want to purchase a few little things here and there, it's easy to do some small trades and get a couple of things. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, anyway, we've got this boy. Um... Yeah, we, we don't want to trade him. So let's go back. We'll uh, return to the garage, as it says up there. And yeah, so now it's going to show us to build our vehicle. So yeah, you basically go into like a build menu, pick your part, select where you want it to go. So they're saying, you know, they want me to put it on the front because that's what they're doing. Uh, oh, time for loneliness. <laughs> I see. Valentine's Day kind of special thing going on here. Spring is knocking out the door and even with the toughest inhabitants of the wasteland find a place for tender feelings in their hearts. Showing you your challenges and stuff and I can... 
you know, view my daily missions. Again, these are other win one battle missions in raids while in a group, stuff like that. Daily missions, casual thing, you know what those things are. You don't need me going on about it. Um, just close that. And yeah, here you can save your blueprint. So let's say oh, I love this car so much, I can hit save, name my blueprint. Oh, you know, I'm just going with the classic uh, first boy. Um, and yeah, save him in there. And there he is. And I can pull him up whenever the hell I run him want. In the beginning, it's definitely... Uh, no. <laughs> in the beginning, it's definitely, you know, more limited with what you can do. And look, you can test drive and stuff. So if I want to, like, go, how does this vehicle ride? You can just kind of drive out. And they have put a car out there for you to shoot. And as you can see, you can spawn in bots, as you see there, with O and stuff like that. Yeah, and, you know, this can show you how the kind of destruction works, I guess. So look, if I wanted that back wheel off and I shot at it enough, it's got to come off. And if I shot at the, oh, I don't want his guns on him, shoot that gun off, shoot that gun off, and shoot that gun off. You know, you can really make people absolutely useless, um, which is quite funny. You know, you could literally shoot all their guns off, shoot all their wheels off, and just leave them there. And that would be them, really. They can't do anything, and they're stuck. And I don't know, I kind of like that about the game. Um, I find that, like, a really fun part of it, that you can kind of... You have to kind of suffer the consequences of, you know, your decisions. And if you lose parts, that's it. They're gone. There's no kind of regeneration about it. I like that, but I can see why some people wouldn't. So, yeah, just go into another battle. Try out our vehicle with its three turrets. Then hopefully I can show you a bit more of the kind of building mechanics and stuff. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this series is about me just kind of jumping in. Raw commentary. I'm just chatting about a game that I think is kind of fun. I want to kind of highlight it a little bit. Um... Obviously, uh, not every game is perfect. Not every game I'm going to do in this series is going to be perfect. But m most of the games I do in this series are going to be about just... You should check it out. This is a new map. I like it. Um, but, you know, most of these games are just like... You, maybe you should check it out. In distance, I actually want to do some more. And I've recorded some more of that. I can't wait to show you guys some more stuff from that. Because I've now played some more of the like custom maps. And some more of the modes. And, oh my god, is it even better than I thought it was. I mean, I know it was, be I know it was good, but... Some of the stuff I've played, it's so creative, and I just want to highlight some of it. Um, but yeah, no, this this is another one uh, of those games where, you know, if you want to give it a shot, it's free. So it's kind of, you know, and I can't emphasize that enough, really. With free games, if you're always, if you're on the fence, I'm always there like, well, you may as well just give it a shot, really. Because at the end of the day, even if it's terrible, it didn't cost you anything to try it, really. Apart from your time, and, you know, if you're willing to spend a bit of time to see if you like it or not. Then hey ho, I've crashed and this looks. What am I stuck on? I am I'm stuck on a. Ro oh, I see my wheels come off and now that wheel is stuck. Well, that's that's gone well for me. Guess I'm just gonna have to shoot from it. See, this is the kind of stuff I like. You know, I've messed up and now I am just stuck here. This is of my own doing. You know, at this stage. And I also like how all my turrets can't shoot at like this angle, for instance, because I'm at this angle. Not all my turrets can shoot. It's just there you go. I actually could kill a guy from here because he came way too close. And there's another one. <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that. But yeah, and then those kind of how that's kind of how you know the games play themselves out. Um, it's actually just this guy and this guy. It's actually just these two left. So we'll see if which one of these two wins. Hopefully, my bot is better than their bot. Uh, actually, this guy I think is an actual player. Um, and apparently he's not. No, he's lost all of his weapons. The only way you could do any damage to this guy now is to ram him. So, you know. <laughs> the factions kind of, you get unlocks on their cars. And so how that works basically is you get like... if When you level up with a faction, they'll give you a build. Which they think is pretty decent for that level. And uh, you'll likely have the parts as well by that level. And then you can just use their cars if you can't really be asked to design your own. Which is great because if you're just one of those people who's like, I just want to shoot things. I don't care about designing my own cars. Um, then yeah, you can do that. But in my opinion, like half the game is designing your car. Because that's the point is you earn the parts to kind of put them on your car. And, you know, do a bunch of stuff, make it look awesome and that such. So yeah. And then there are just packs where you can literally buy things that are made by other people and such. And as you can see, some of these get really crazy. And you can test drive any of them for free, by the way. You don't have to purchase any of them to test drive them. So if I like looked at this and went, man, that looks sick. I want to just drive that. I can just hop in and see what it does. Um, I can go invisible <laughs> if I press shift, which is cool. So yeah, fun little car, this one. 
But yeah, you can see you can do some crazy stuff. But I don't really like looking around these two. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I've got to test drive this. But like, I don't like looking around these too much because I like to kind of discover it as I go. If you will, like, you know, you see some people have some crazy stuff. Like even beyond this, and that's we're not even talking about leviathans yet. Leviathans are I think this game where for like certain of the raid game modes and stuff you can build leviathans which are these huge Vehicles that you can build again that kind of stuff is crazy. I mean this stuff this thing is amazing just a bunch of like You know really uh, High caliber cannons on a thing that has just got crazy amounts of like rotation going on with it and really good traversal Obviously, it's a bit slower, but you know again really good for high play but all of these as you can see they have what's called a you can see their kind of part level. Uh, I forget what this PS exactly sounds for, but yeah, it's kind of like part score. And if their part score is of certain high, that's how it matches you with other vehicles. So if you've got a part score of 6,000, they're not going to match you with someone who's got a part score. Well, they shouldn't match you with a person who's got a part score of 2,000. Because then, you know, you're going to get wrecked and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, so similar to kind of a World of Tanks, you know, that kind of... And War Thunder and such kind of vibe in that kind of regard. And yeah, so you can buy for money. Jump in again. I mean, I'll show you build. So look, we can do some stuff. So if I say, you know, I, I didn't want this turret here, I can just kind of move it and say, no, instead I want it there. You know, which isn't very good because it's only got one point of connection, can easily be shot off. And where it is, is much better. Because right now, this setup is probably one of the best that we can get. But as you can see, this, for example, in the back here is a car jack. So when the car topples, this allows me to flip it back. But it does cost car points and it adds weight, a lot of weight. 160 kilograms, which can affect things like your max speed, your, uh, you know, your acceleration and how, you know, well your car handles because of the extra weight. You know, if, obviously if a car is very, very, very light, it'll uh, handle very quickly. It'll probably be quite nippy as an acceleration wise and stuff like that, but it won't have much mass to it and it'll probably be easily shot apart. Have a lot of armor, got a lot of mass, you know, you're quite, quite low to the ground. You'll be able to take a lot of bullets, but at the end of the day, again, you'll be moving slow and stuff like that. So it's all about you know, balancing those things out or just going for the build that suits you. You want to be a big lumbering tank? Go for it. And again, you can design, like I could change this completely. I mean, I'm not going to because it take forever, but you know, and you can do those kind of things. And you know, if you want to open the parts menu, you just hit tab and I'm there like, ooh, I want to add a radar so that I can see enemies from further away. So I want a radar. So I'm going to grab my radar and I'm going to shove it like in my boot somewhere. Or on my back, because you can rotate things again. So if I say, right, I want to rotate this like that. I want it to be on my bum <laughs> like that. You know, it'll be kind of easily shot off there, but it's got a nice point connection. And from the front, it's very well protected. They'd have to get behind me. So yeah, you know, stuff like that. And you can do those little things and say, right, I like this scape. There you go. That's how that is. And if I'm there like, yeah, you know what? I want this as my saved car. You can just be like, I'm going to overwrite this blueprint with this. Yep, first boy. And there he is. He's now got a radar on his bum. So if I wanted to bring him back, I can just do that. So if I say hit the faction car and I want this, assemble. And it's saying, assembling this will remove the current vehicle from your garage space. Is that okay? Yes. So it just assembles that, shoves it in the garage space. Fine. And if I want to bring the other one back again, you know, obviously same thing. Just, just, no, don't, don't overwrite. Oh gosh. That could have been bad just then. But yeah, just hit it, hit assemble, hit yes. And there you go, it's back. So... Very nice system there. And then, uh, yeah, just, just jump into another battle, see if we can earn some more parts. That's basically the cycle of this game. You know, you 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 build your stuff, you jump back in, and, you know, you can have, a, you know, different garage slots. Obviously, I think you have to buy some more ones and stuff like that. So, yeah, there is those kind of things in the game. Again, free-to-play, that kind of World of Tanks style of doing things in a free-to-play economy. And I'm not a big fan of those economies, per se. Like, personally, they don't... I don't enjoy them as much, but this game is kind of fun enough... To me, is in from a degree of like, I just can go in and shoot a couple things and not have to worry about too much. And if you don't, you know, like I say, if you're not, if this isn't a game that you're looking to spend every waking hour in, you probably will think this is quite a fun little free to play game to play, you know? If you want to spend all your waking hours though in it and be playing it, and that's what you do, obviously that's fine, you can do that. Um, but, you know, those kind of people will have, there, there's where the problems will probably arise for you in the game a lot more. Because, you know, as you get to late game, like I say, you know, there are certain things about it that just cause more issues and such. And again, look, you see that guy had a little help symbol there. I could go and pick him up if if I uh, if I wanted to. I've actually got this guy, like, really heavily on my bum. Uh, and I'm trying to shoot off his guns, but this is causing an issue for me. What I'm really trying to do is get away so my friends can shoot him. I'm on very low health right now. And there are even more enemy vehicles over there. 
Uh, as you can see, my radar's gone, so that kind of distance I had on being able to see my enemies, you know, kind of left. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the enemies destroyed us here, there's, there's no question. Um, but, yeah, it's stuff like that. And it's a fun little game to play. And if you're looking for something that's just, you know, if you're just looking for something that's, you know, you like your vehicles, you kind of like the idea of being able to craft your own little thing, and you just want to jump into a game and shoot a couple things, it's a fun game. And I think it's well worth the download. Um, do I think it's perfect? <laughs> nope, not by any means. But is it fun for just a bit of like good, wholesome, just bit of gaming? Yeah, it is. I think if you enjoy the kind of gameplay that, as you can see, that this is offering, and there's obviously a lot more that you can do with the game in the later levels, um, then I think you'll really enjoy this. Especially, I very much enjoyed playing this with friends. Um, back in the day when I played this before, I used to play this with uh, a couple of other people. And it was really good fun because, you know, you'd all build your own little vehicles and kind of go in and make little call outs to each other and stuff like that. Obviously, a lot of games are better with other people. But yeah, this is, again, another one of those good ones to kind of play with your friends, especially because it's free to play. You know, no one has to spend any of their hard earned cash to give it a download and play with you. Uh, plus, it's not the biggest game in the universe either. So it's not like you'd have to wait uh, seven years for it to download. So yeah, it, it's pretty good. And as you can see, it's got a nice clean graphic style. I really like the graphic style of this game actually, because it's really nice and smooth, nice and clear. You know, a lot of the way that they present things are very kind of obvious on screen. It's not, you know, there's not just loads of clutter or just loads and loads and loads of detail that just take up, you know, a lot of your screen. Oh God, how does this keep happening? <laughs> There he is, and we win. But yeah, so that's this game, really. I mean, there's not much more to show. I mean, obviously, um, I might, if you guys like are interested in it, I might, if I get a little bit later on, I could do some more stuff. I would like maybe make another video, uh, a bit of a shorter one, maybe, where I'm kind of just show you some gameplay, show you some of the stuff you can do. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what this game is. And I just wanted to make a small little video on it because I thought to myself, you know, it's one of those little games that, you know, it, it, it can take a lot of flack, but... If you just want some good, wholesome kind of machinery fun in shooting each other apart and just watching the destruction occur with a couple of mates, um, I think it's well worth the download. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of fun things you can do in it and a lot of fun things the community has done that you can definitely check out and try some of their really awesome vehicles that have been made. Right, well, thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I am glad you watched the video. <laughs> God, blimey. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been an honour having you here. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to give Crossout... If you want to give... I'm having a stroke up here. Uh, if you want to give Crossout a go, then the link will be in the description. And I hope you enjoy. And maybe, maybe, I'll see you out there on the wasteland. <laughs>